Hi, welcome to Hexus TV. I'm here at CES 2010 with NXT, a Cambridge-based company that you might not be familiar with. But um, Peter, you're the CEO of the company. What do you do? Uh, our business is in uh, taking technology, of uh, audio technology, into flat panel loudspeakers. We can turn any light uh, panel into a loudspeaker using knowledge of bending waves in the panels and patented uh, exciters to drive the panel. Uh, there are literally hundreds of products on the market at the moment. What we want to talk about today is how we transfer a flat, transparent surface into a loudspeaker. Okay, Peter, so what we have here is a technology you call SoundView. Ex explain this one to us. Uh, what we have here is a Hitachi digital photo frame. Uh, behind the black part of the screen, uh, we have uh, two patented exciters. Those exciters turn the whole frame into a loudspeaker. So this panel becomes a loudspeaker. OK, so that's the whole panel as a speaker now. And you can actually feel the audio coming out of it. Yeah, but you can't see it vibrating. So if you can imagine, there are tiny vibrations across this whole screen. And if you introduce a signal, which is a, a bending wave signal, which is most sensitive to your fingertip, then you can actually have haptic feedback coming from that screen. So, so we patented uh, this haptic feedback uh, and back in 2000, and in the last a uh, few years we've been working with a company called Nisha Printing in Japan. Uh, Nisha have more capacity than anybody else in the world for small touch screens. And here we've got a prototype that we've developed with them of a tablet PC. What we've taken is basically a netbook PC, uh, created it into a tablet format okay. and added uh, Nisha's a uh, multi-touch resistive uh, screen on the front here. So, as we did before uh, with the um, digital photo frame, this can be a play music and video. Okay, so using the same technology, that whole screen becomes a speaker. Yeah. And again, you can feel it vibrating, but you can't see it. Okay, Peter, what's interesting here is you've now actually taken this technology to the next step and you've developed a multi-touch touchscreen display with haptic feedback. Expl explain how that works to us. Well, here we've converted the screen into uh, a regular keyboard and if you use the keyboard, you can then feel the keys as you touch them. We've been doing that over the last uh, year or so. However, the next... Uh, challenge was with a regular key when you press uh, shift you don't really want to feel the shift key when you're pressing the other keys so this is the first multi-touch uh, haptic feedback for example if you press, uh, press control you feel it alt you feel it but you don't feel control you press delete and you don't feel anything in this part of the screen what you have to understand is we've created in this panel lots of bending waves. Uh, and if you imagine there are certain points there where there is probably a null point, you cannot feel it. Uh, if you are able to control that uh, in this direction and in this direction, then you can move that null point around the screen. So in this configuration, what we're doing is creating null points in certain parts of the screen. Uh, ultimately, we'll be able to control uh, those points dynamically all over the screen and uh, create different sensations on different parts of the screen. The applications there are probably um, most suitable for gaming, uh, different software. There's a lot to be done in that development. Okay, for the end user, ultimately what we're looking at here is possibly a next generation of interface for all upcoming smartphones. Yes, I mean, this is where we're going to go take it step by step. First of all, uh, touch, which can be tuned, so, for the, uh, so you get the right sensation you like. 
Uh, secondly, certain parts of the screen uh, where we can uh, have uh, on and off parts, and then ultimately uh, multi-touch across the screen. Brilliant, Peter. That's NXT's touch sound technology. Stay tuned for more on that at Hexus TV.